Hey friends, welcome to day 11 of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. Overall, I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. My throat is still quite sore. I'm dealing with some sinus congestion still, but I don't feel like a zombie, so that's good. Quick rundown for today, and then we'll get into our topic, which is how to slow down the detox. Alrighty, so day 11, um, again, my body was calling for a good deal more fasting, and I take this as a sign that my body has stirred up and hydrated enough lymph where it needs to kind of wash out the lymph that I have stirred up. And so I've been trying to give my body lots of hydration throughout the day, um, but really fasting. Um, that's really what my body's been calling for. I did, however, break my fast late this afternoon with another quarter of a watermelon. Guys, it was so good. Then I made a beautiful grape and lemon juice again. This was about two and a half, almost three pounds of black and red grapes with one lemon. And again, so delicious and refreshing. Let's get into today's topic, how to slow down the detox. I meant to talk about this last night and I actually started talking about this, but then I had a squirrel moment and uh, realized as I was editing my footage that I never actually went back to this topic, which was the main thing I wanted to talk about last night. When we're talking about slowing down a detox, we have a few options available to us. One would be incorporating less lymphatic and less hydrating fruits, especially like bananas and dates. These are bulking fruits. They're fantastic, full of fiber and uh, those simple sugars that feed all of our cells but they're obviously not very full of water. They're not hydrated, so they're not going to help necessarily to hydrate lymph, but they will help to scrub the bowels and make sure that everything is still regulating and functioning well. Steamed vegetables are a fantastic way of slowing down that detox. And yes, I know we're on a raw food challenge right now, but it's still important to know these options because, you know, it's a raw food challenge. It's not a raw food law. <laughs> Let's be real. Give yourself some grace and compassion, guys. It's all right. Do your best and understand how you can use these principles. But really, when we're talking about steamed vegetables, this is fabulous whenever you've been on like a, a juicy fruit protocol, right? Let's say you're, you're pounding the watermelon or the grapes and you simply don't have any bananas or dates at home, right? You take a trip to the store, all the bananas look super green. You just can't find any good, um, more bulking fruits. Then turn to some steamed vegetables. There's nothing wrong with it, but I would say just go easy at first because they are going to be just a bit harder to digest than the fruit. This is the perfect opportunity to show how we can make detox work for us in our everyday lives because truthfully friends, life does not stop simply because you decide to do a deep detox. And unfortunately, because I'm not um, a regular employee at my place of work, I have to show up on my nights that I am scheduled. And fortunately, they were kind enough to let me go home seeing what kind of condition I was in. But I had to prepare my body in order to potentially have to put in a shift at work. So as I said in uh, yesterday's video, maybe the, the previous video, um, days eight and nine, my eyes and my nose were running like faucets, guys. It just, it would not stop. I just had to tilt my head. I had to just, you know, it was non-stop. And come Thursday, I had these crazy sneezing bouts where my body's literally trying to help me forcibly expel more junk. Um, and though I appreciate it, it's quite annoying and you can't really drive safely if you're just, you know, crying nonstop and sneezing uh, for two minutes straight. So I knew that I had to slow things down ever so slightly so I could potentially put in some time, uh, some time at work. So my, uh, like I said, my husband has also been going through his own healing crisis, but he's not on a raw food challenge with me. So my mom was kind enough to make him some soup. And so yesterday, uh, before I went into work, probably three, maybe four hours before I went in, um, to work in the evening, <clears throat> I had, all in all, maybe one cup of broth. I 
think there were two pieces of cooked celery, three pieces of cooked carrot, and maybe in total, one eighth of a cup of cooked rice. So I had a tiny, tiny bowl of broth and a little bit of rice, the couple cooked vegetables. Because like I said, life does not stop. And sometimes we have to do what we have to do to get the detox under control in a really fabulous way of helping to slow the detox down is by incorporating some steamed vegetables. And uh, honestly, guys, that broth sounded pretty amazing to me. The little bit of sodium in there perked up my adrenals, gave me a tiny bit more energy so I could function at work. Again, fortunately, I was able to come home, but I had to prepare for the chance that I would be on my feet and putting potentially 10,000 steps in that night um, in a four hour period. So I needed to make sure that I was respecting my body and giving her what she needed so I could function. That tiny bit of broth, tiny bit of cooked vegetables, and a little bit of rice was sufficient enough to help slow the faucets, guys. Um, probably about one hour before I had to leave for work, the nose and the eyes stopped running. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't still able to get mucus up. So this is an important thing to understand that whenever we're talking about slowing down the detox, we're, we're not talking about stopping it. Um, if we were to incorporate some very high fat and high protein foods, that would for sure stop the detox. So that's it for today, friends. Thanks again for joining me for day 11 of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. For tomorrow, I will plan on making another grape and lemon juice because these bad boys have been so incredibly awesome. And my body is loving the hydration and all of the astringency to keep moving this lymph. I do still have some mixed greens and alfalfa sprouts and cucumber to use up. So I would like to make a nice big salad tomorrow to use those up before I lose them. Um, but I will be showing you guys a really simple um, raw avocado dressing that you can use on your salad. And this will be another perfect opportunity to talk about how to slow down that detox. And especially as we approach the end of this raw food challenge, if you decide to move back to some kind of cooked foods, then stepping down from the high fruit diet will be really important. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. On that note, friends, have a beautiful night and I'll see you tomorrow for day 12.